later. Give me, this is kind of a general question, but like, give me a sleeper team that you're excited about. A team that isn't getting enough discussion, a team that maybe people aren't saying is going to make the playoffs, but you think will. Give me a team that you think is going to rise above expectations. I'll give you one. And I, Jay said it earlier, and I'm not going to say the Jets because everyone's kind of on the Jets, but I'm going to say the Saints. I like the Saints a lot. I think they're a well-run team. I think that they have playmakers down there, like he said, that can do some phenomenal things. We've broken down a little bit of film. Their offensive line is really good. They're known for being a defensive-minded team, so you know they're going to come ready to play every single game. Like Cam Jordan is one of those dudes that's just timeless. Like He's just going every single year, and he's still juicing them up and hyping them up, and that's how they do things. I think that if if Carr can get them right and they can get establish a little bit of a run game or – get Alvin Kamara active a little bit more, I think they could be a huge stretch, especially because I don't see their division being like, oh my God, you got to fight your way out of here. It's more like, listen, just put your foot on the gas and never take it off, okay? Enjoy yourself, go out, try some crazy things because you got a lot of, you got so many fun things you can do out here. Do it all, but just make sure you keep the main thing, the main thing the whole time. Get out of my division, get into the playoffs, and then we start playing. Because he has the ability, I feel like, to stand back there and sling the ball if he wants to. And he can do it, and people can say whatever they want, but there have been games that I've seen him stand back there and take hit after hit after hit. Because his O-line sucked in Oakland. Sucked. And now you put him in behind some guys who can actually know what they want to do. And we broke down their film. Those are some good, good dudes. I'm excited to see what they can do out of there. But once again... You have to show us you can do it before we're going to believe it. It's just the way we've been taught in the NFL. Is it's not a thing until it's a thing. It's not an issue until it's an issue, right? Like, yeah, they could be great and on paper. They look phenomenal. Wow, they could really light it up. But now you got to go do it. Make everything work. And by the halfway through the season, we're going to be like, yep, they were the team we thought they could be. Or we're going to be like, man, that really sucks because they could have been something special. Yeah, I'm going to stay with Jacksonville. You know, I'm, I'm going to stick with Jacksonville. I know I broke them down a little bit, but again, I just look at that team again on paper, and a lot of it's going to be predicated on what Trevor Lawrence does. You know, does he play like he did? What was it last year? He threw four interceptions in the first playoff game, or whatever it was. But I mean, you go all the way back to what he did at Clemson to how he does things. Like that team is now not under Urban Meyer anymore. They had a Thank full God. two years in this system. Their offensive line they got better. I think Jacksonville is is my underrated team. Yeah, and, and underrated in, in a different way in that, like, everyone has them kind of as a playoff team, but you're saying, dude, they could actually go they and could make, make a run. I think they like, could actually make a run. Make a run. Super Bowl. I really do think they could make a run. To the Super yeah, it's got a little bit of a Bengals couple years ago vibe where they go really quickly over two years from yep. kind of a dumpster make fire a franchise to... Can we make a bet? Always. Can well, we don't get Jeremiah in you trouble. Degenerate. He's an agent. What do you okay. want? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I'll bet you that the Saints make it in the playoffs over the Jags. What if they both make it? It's a push. Then who Phil makes it buys. further? Who makes then it further? <laughs> 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 no, huh? Wait a second. Wait a huh? second. Now. Hey, hey, there, there's How the best. How about this? How about this? I bet you the. I bet you the. I bet you the Jags have a better record at the end of the year than the Saints. Oh, I'll bet you that. All right, steak and a beer. You got. It. I got to keep track of these steak and a beer bets. So okay, steak and a beer so last night. Hold yeah, on, you don't want to get fined beer. for falling asleep, dude. Yep. Steak, <sighs> steak and a beer. Okay, Minnesota, Nebraska. And what was this I mean, one? This I'm is, is this regu- regular season regular record. Season, regular season, Jags have a better record than the Saints at the end of the year. Jags, Saints. Let's see if I can read my handwriting later. I'm writing it down, Booney too. And, Booney and Searles. Children. Okay. I love it. And by the way, we're not going to cancel these out, okay? No. If at the end of the year there's like 15 steak and beer bets, we're going to have 15 oh, meals. We're Combine going wherever all it is. over. We're going everywhere. <laughs> I'm on it. Okay. So I'm going to give you, what if I, what if I told you? What if I told you I'm going to give you a team, okay? Be a homer. A team sell with, it. You be a homer. It's be not a the homer. Vikings. It's oh, not the Vikings. Probably, it's not the Vikings. Although the Vikings, I feel like people, I will say this about the Vikings since you got me started. started okay? You want to double down on the bet? But people, you want to double down on the bet? Stick it in a beer. Stick it in a beer. I'll, 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 I'll double down on it. You want to double down on it? People have gone too far with like, oh, you know, they were a fake, fake team last year. Okay, yeah, they like they were like a nine win team that got lucky or fortunate or whatever into into thirteen wins. I agree. But people are now making it seem like, you know, they're completely fraudulent and now they're going to be, you know, completely irrelevant in the playoff picture. The Vikings are going to be a competitive team. Brian Flores is going to try and make things happen on defense. Kirk Cousins is good enough. Kirk, the floor with Kirk Cousins teams is like seven or eight wins. All right. I'm our, dude, That's what are disrespectful we talking about? to my I'm Vikings. I'm so already falling asleep on this conversation. Dude, you, are you trying to sell me or are you selling yourself? Jesus. Go with your team. Go with it's your a, real team. Please. Okay. Please. If I told you, I'm going to give you a Hall of Fame coach, 
one of the top six quarterbacks in the league based on almost every metric last year, and a bunch of weapons, the Seattle Seahawks are my sleeper team. Okay. Dude, their wide receiver core, too. DK Metcalf, Nasty. Tyler oh, Lockett, no. Jackson Smith and Jigba, Kenneth Walker as the starting running back. Zach Charbonnet, who they took in the Char- second from UCLA. Charbonnet. They have weapons everywhere. You've got Pete Carroll chewing gum like a madman. And you've got a defense with a bunch of young dudes. I'm, I question their offensive line. I'm not saying they're a complete team, but... Um, the I think the defensive line is the one that, that worries me. I don't uh, name me one one ass kicker that's going to go wreck a game on that D line. Yeah, I mean, is uh, I'm trying to think of what his name is still there. No, uh, well, Uchenna Nwosu is uh, he racked up some sacks last year, but like, yeah, for the most part, that's he's not a, a game. That's changer, a question, right? He's not a game changer. He's not a Micah Parsons. He's not a Daniil Hunter, a Cam Jordan, uh, Miles Garrett. Like, you need one of those dudes up up front to be that deep team. But they I might, agree. It might their, be their offense. Their offense is going to be really good this year. They might have to. It might be the opposite of sort of ten years ago, where it was like best defense in the league, training wheels, offense, quarterback. This might be go score thirty one points every yep. single day and, say, and yep. see what happens. So I mean, Bobby Wagner's back. I didn't know that. Yeah, that could be big for them. I mean, Bobby's such a big dude. Bobby was pivotal. I mean, you want to talk about a Luke Keekley? Then I always felt like he kind of got undershafted because Luke was so good in his prime that it was kind of around the time that he was going on and even maybe more so like after but it was so hard to follow those footsteps with Bobby dude he is a phenomenal middle linebacker like he can diagnose things yes. better than anybody yeah. and that's where I think when you saw that defense start to slip out number one the legion of boom was gone right like those guys in the back end could do anything simple cover three and all of a sudden camp chancellor you're pulling around hitting a six foot five 275 pound safety like wait what the hell just happened here right and they're like oh it must have been buzz damn it but at the same time <laughs> everything was on lock and then and all of a sudden, as that went, they kind of went down a little bit. And then Bobby leaves. And all of a sudden, they're kind of a fire. Now I feel like him back. Yeah, I could definitely see that being a dark horse. I'm still, and I, I'm going to say it right now, I love this guy to death. Geno Smith, I love him to death. You just have to prove it to me. you got to prove to me that you can do it. you got to be able to dance in the pocket a little bit. And at the same time, you got to be able to get this team to win. They're going to feast off that. And, dude, I'm telling you, they're one of these teams that if they do get hot, Pete knows exactly what to say to just pour gas right on the fire to be like, oh, yeah, baby. Like, he just gets them <laughs> erupted every can we, morning. Can we it's rewind so real quick? I'm remembering something you said. Did you say Geno Smith's a top six quarterback in the NFL? By every metric last year. Oh, you know, his uh, analytics. His, <laughs> yeah, his analytics told him he's a top six you look, if you guys look at some of the statistics, okay, if you look at some of the outliers, Sasha here, for okay, losers. he was sixth in QBR. He was uh, sixth, fifth in passer rating, yards per attempt. He was uh, Is top there a 10. metric for a quarterback that can overcome a tough situation in a game and get you that dub? Is there that? Like, hey, this guy was down. He had it's been called sacked balls. 12 yeah, times. There's new, there's oh, wait, there's no analytic for that? Actually. Okay, my bad. Then I'll just continue watching the <laughs> game and just, know it. Maybe we should just eat Ws. Right? Like, I, don't, I don't know you, what you Booney want me to do. Booney just raved about Geno Smith for like five minutes. I and said now he was a great guy, and I'm, I said the same <laughs> thing. Guy, I but... need to see it. He is a great quarterback. Yeah. I need to show I just, me. I was. I just wanted to make sure that we didn't gloss over the fact that you said he was a top six. Yeah, quarterback. for sure. I don't believe he's one of the six best quarterbacks you in the world. You said it, Mackie. Not but me. But he put up Thank crazy you. numbers last year, and they won. They won games right. in large yeah, part. Row the boat, bro. Row yeah. the boat. Row the boat. Scott, you want to go? Yeah, I think my camera's don't getting a little fuzzy there don't again. Let me see. Yeah, is that getting uh? Oh, what's out of there? Let's oh, wipe that off real quick there. Hey, I can't wait to have Colorado sure. stuff next week. I'm going to put it all over. Uh, I, I'm going to wear my Go Buffs uh, gear all over Dude, the place. I'm going to go find sure. some. I'll beat the shit good. out of you, Matthew. <laughs> I, just, yeah. I can trash talk you as long here. as you're in Nebraska and I'm in Minnesota. It's great. 